Welcome. I want to thank everyone today for taking the time um, to um, watch the video. And I would have really appreciated it if you would um, care to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Simply click the little bell on top and subscribe. Uh, like I say, I would really appreciate that. So Sandra and Alexa here, and we're going to talk about November. We have some really, really exciting, finally inspiring energies around. 2019 has been a very, very transformative time. Uh, there's so many things going on, so many changes. It actually started way back in 2008 with Pluto, and it's just changing. We have a huge big stellium taking place in January of 2020, which I'll talk about. And basically what it is, is cleanup time um, for all the corruption and everything. And for me, I can, can't say for you, but I really believe in a divine plan and it's going to get better. Let's put it that way. Um, so we have shifting energies right now. Um, especially during the turbulent times, but there's new beginnings. We're finishing off a decade. These energies right now are lightening us up because we've been through so much transformation, so it's now time. First, we have the sun that's moving into Sagittarius on November the 22nd, and Sagittarius is more uplifting, there's more fun, there's more joy. Then you can smile and embrace the optimistic and very inspiring new moon that's at 26 degrees of Sagittarius on November the 26th. This new moon is supported by Jupiter and Uranus, so it's very expansive and it's very awakening. So expect, expect some insights and downloads. It's great for wanting freedom, breaking out and embracing new opportunities. This breaking out and freedom could be because you had personal epiphanies of coming home to you, especially after the Mercury retrograde in Scorpio energy. You went really deep. You had to go within and get more clarity. And yay, today, November the 20th, it went direct. And you should have been given an awesome... Um, understanding of certain situations and things that you did not know about. So things about individuals, relationships, career, health, etc. Anything you were personally re-evaluating and rethinking during the contemplative Mercury retrograde time. That's what it's there for. And again, now today, November 20th, Mars also enters Scorpio, and so full steam ahead for any creative projects. Then we have an extraordinary event that you'll want to take advantage of, and that's why I've done this video a little bit earlier. It's a very expansive and positive energy from November the 19th through to November the 23rd. It's about cosmic justice and truth. New light codes are being activated. This rare and positive aspect, okay, which is a Jupiter and the galactic center that form an aspect at 27 degrees of Sagittarius, it's actually a portal which assists in aligning higher consciousness, connecting to, shifting, and opening our perspective to higher truths. Trust in self and your intuition. Knowing, again, as I said, there's a divine plan. No fear. Be aware of what Albert Einstein is widely credited with saying. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, actually expecting new results. So you may be super sensitive at this time, so ensure you take time for yourself. And then, wowzer, the new moon new beginnings, new, what seeds are you going to plant at this time? If you know what house Sagittarius rules in your natal chart, you can set new intentions for that area of your life. 
And in January, I will be announcing some courses I'm going to do on Zoom so that people understand where these new and full moons are in your chart so you can take better advantage of it. It's a definitive time to assess where you have traveled during this year, a time of authenticity and self-expression. And we're at the final stages of this decade. We're also very busy with Christmas season. And it's coming upon us fast. I'd suggest you use manifesting crystals during this new moon while setting intentions, smudging, and cleaning your space. It's a great time to have a personal reading. What awaits you in 2020? I'm also very excited to um, announce that everything in my life is always about timing, transformation, restructuring, re redefining. And so I'm going to be soon announcing um, what I've been working on. It's been under construction for the last six months as I'm integrating some of my Chiron Spa Consulting website with my personal Muse website, okay? And if I, of course, what am I doing? I'm checking the cosmos, which is going to be the best rate date to go live, okay? And I got it figured out. So it will be in the next few days. It's a big change for me as I've had the spa consulting for about 20 years. I still have my books that are going to be available on the new website and I'm still available for, for certain projects. And of course, it's going to be a transition, you know, because we're going to be letting go of Chiron, but I'm going to keep it like for six months or whatever and learning how to make the transition to make sure that everybody knows those that were with my Chiron. Now, hopefully, they'll move over to the Muse. And so I'm going to do a video about it. And there's all kinds of new opportunities with um, Game Changer YouTube. Um, there's going to be new interviews. There's going to be courses. Um, I've been working with Matthew with the Gene Keys, and we're going to be offering uh, some different things. Um, I've asked some people if they're interested in doing interviews um, on how their relationships have worked because we know that the first relationship is with self and then we can have a relationship with other. So many blessings, much love, and I would really appreciate if you would share this and if you would subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you.